Dr. Zach is back in studio, and we're here to talk about marijuana, the effects of marijuana, of course, the legalization of marijuana just around the corner approaching, which is kind of a moving target right now. We know that July 1st, but we don't know how, when, when it's going to sort of come into effect when people will be able to start buying at retail stores. But let's, let's talk about, first of all, what is marijuana? What are the effects of marijuana? How common is it? Very common. Okay. Let's lead with that. So about almost, when, they, when they poll Canadians, generally, about 44% of people have tried marijuana. So that's almost half of people. Yeah. I mean, who knows if that's a correct number, but I think that's a lot of people have tried marijuana. What about regular smokers of marijuana? Do we have numbers on that? Uh, up to 10% okay. in different studies. I mean, it, d it depends what you mean by regular, and, uh, but uh, yeah, up to 10% of people uh, is what I've read. Yeah. And, uh, I Sorry, to go back to what it is. Yeah. I mean, so people, obviously, people have heard of marijuana. Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh, it comes from, it's from this plant, cannabis sativa, and basically marijuana is made from the, the leaves, the dried leaves. There's also an oil that comes off of it, which is hash. And so all these things are used for their medicinal and recreational effects. Well, and of course, they have different effects. Let's first of all talk about the, the mental effects. What kind of mental effects do you get from smoking marijuana? So the mental effects, I mean, people use it recreationally because they feel good, right? They have some mm -hmm. euphoria, they feel relaxed, it can decrease anxiety, it can decrease the feeling of depression. People feel like their senses are enhanced, especially okay. like uh, visual sense and sound and smell. So people like the way it makes them feel. I mean, that's the, way, that's the reason people use it right. recreationally. Uh, the physiological effects of it. Uh, tell us about that. So increased heart rate, increased blood pressure. Uh, people, people who use it will tell you that they have, uh, well, you've, you've seen people who are high, you know, they mm -hmm. have red eyes. Yeah. Uh, they get more hungry. Uh, it, it, and some people who have asthma can actually exacerbate their asthma yeah, that's symptoms. Yeah. And then there are some other negatives. I mean, if you have a heart condition, then it can be a strain on your heart to have increased heart rate and increased blood pressure. I want to talk about uh, the effects of marijuana on younger people because there's been a lot of studies that we've seen come out over the last decade or so. How does it fa affect a younger mind compared to a, an older mind? The problem is that certainly uh, this is the reason why it's not legal. When it becomes legalized, it's definitely not going to be legalized for kids. Is that the brain is developing until we don't even know, but around the age of 20, even okay. though here it's going to be legal until uh, eight, 18, it's going to be legal as of the age of 18. The what's going to happen? What happens in the young brain is still developing, and the risks are higher. So the risks okay. are of uh, less educational attainment for sure. Uh, the risks of if, if you're predisposed to psychosis and hallucinations, that sort of thing, it's thought that it can actually bring that out in you. So it's not going to cause you to be schizophrenic, but if you're predisposed, uh, there's an increased risk. And there's certainly, there's certainly an increased risk of you not attaining your educational and professional uh, achievements. Yeah, the, the, the motivation way. factor has always been talked about. Let's talk sure. about legalization. Okay. Some pros, some cons. So pros to legalization. I, I definitely understand the pros, which are regulation. You know what you're getting, you know, so it's right. not going to be spiked with whatever. It's not going to be spiked with PCP. You know the exact percentage of THC. That's the active ingredient. So, and, and the THC percentage, by the way, has gone up significantly over the past 20, 30 years. Yeah. So people are getting more and more concentrated marijuana or THC. Uh, so that's it. And then the tax dollars. And then hopefully, yeah, hopefully we can regulate better who's actually accessing it. So that's the pro. The con is... Does it send a bad message in terms of, uh, you know, that we're legalizing it, that it's now sort of okay to use? And, and the other con is when we look at states like uh, Colorado and Washington is what's happened there. And, and there's definitely increased use by underage people okay. in those places. There's definitely increased use, uh, increased driving impaired impairments with use of this and more people getting arrested and more fatalities as a result of it. Uh, there's always a lot of information that, oh, yeah. that you come with. Unfortunately, running out of time, but want to let everyone know at home that we have your full blog that you wrote for us. If you go to btmontreal.ca, click on the blog, you can find out more about legalization, of course, the medicinal uses of marijuana, which we didn't get to as yeah. well. So make sure you check that out. Again, btmontreal.ca. Don't go anywhere. Coming up after the break, we'll have a look at what's making headlines here in Montreal and your weather in traffic.